Hmm. Good morning. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most commonly consumed sources of nutrients in the entire world. What is it? The egg. Fun fact. Did you know that there are many different kinds of vegetarians? What's a pescatarian? I don't know. I have to Google it. There are vegetarians who will not eat red meat, who will not eat chicken, who will not eat fish, but they will deign to eat the egg. And they have a name for them. They're called ovo-vegetarians. As many of you know, I'm pretty particular about how I cook an egg. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook an over-easy egg. Previously on Homeland, oh, sorry, wrong show. Earlier on Chef at Home, or maybe on your Google Classroom, you were asked to look up the answer to a simple question. Which fat has the highest smoking point? That's the point at which the fat begins to overheat and turn to vapor and smoke. You were given three choices. Butter. Canola or vegetable oil. Olive oil. Which one is it? And which one will be most appropriate for cooking an over easy egg? As soon as the egg white is completely cooked underneath the yolks, I like to position my yolks right up against the back edge of my saute pan to go for the flip. Here we go. Not bad. Done it better, done it worse. If there's one truism in cooking, it's the old saying, if your egg is cooked in the pan, it's overcooked on the plate. So as soon as I've got my egg completely cooked, it's overcooked on the plate. What we're talking about is the carryover cooking from the fat. It's going to keep cooking the egg even after it comes out of the pan. Now, if I've done this properly, both of the yolks are going to be still liquidy. Nope. That's what we call over medium, possibly over hard. This one looks a little better. All right. That's definitely over medium. I've still got a little bit of liquid yolk in there but it's not gonna run all over the plate. Many customers prefer that. And I didn't hear back until yesterday, I had to send a second email, but we have a time to chat today. So that's my, that's my first uh, reach out to a parent. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, especially if there's Thanks for watching this episode of Chef at Home. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed spending this time together. I have. And now, it's time.